Sage Time Slips provides many ways to track time. This training video will show you the basics of how you can track time with the timesheet. You can quickly open the timesheet from the main toolbar. The timesheet opens for the current login. You can switch to another timekeeper's timesheet if needed. The timesheet opens to the week you were working with last. You can quickly move to the previous or next week. You can select another date from the calendar or you can type in a date. Timesheet templates are listed down the left side of the timesheet. The templates indicate the name combinations the timesheet can show time for. You can use the toolbar above the template list to maintain templates. Each time cell in the middle of the timesheet displays time for a specific template, for a specific day, for the current timekeeper. You can use the toolbar to the right to maintain time entries. Totals for each day are displayed at the bottom of the timesheet. Totals for each week are displayed at the right side of the timesheet. In this example, we will add more templates to the timesheet. Click Show Template List from the toolbar. The template list shows all timesheet templates. Active templates are displayed on the timesheet. Inactive templates are not. In this example, we will display the Trial Bishop template on the timesheet. The template now appears on the timesheet. Time slips that match the name combination on the template automatically display on the timesheet, whether you entered the time on the timesheet or using some other method. You can add a new timesheet template to the timesheet. Click New from the toolbar. In this example, we will enter the details of a new template for Pierce, Meetings, and save the template. You can also click under the template list to quickly add a new template. In this example, we will create a new template for Nickerson, Council and save the template. The new templates now appear on the template list. The format of time cells indicates different details of the related time entries. For example, an envelope on the left side of a time cell indicates the associated time entry has been billed. A blue indicator on the right side of the time cell shows that there is description text associated with the time entry. You can quickly review that text by clicking on the description button from the toolbar. A shaded time cell indicates that the total in the cell is from more than one time entry. Opening the time entry will list all associated time slips. In this example, we will enter a two-hour conference for client Nickerson on Wednesday. Enter 2 in the cell. Bold time cells indicate that the entry is not yet saved. When you click Save, Sage Time Slips applies all edits from all cells and creates new time slips as needed. You can click Open to view the associated time slip. The new time slip reflects names applied from the template, 
dates from the time cell and the amount of time you entered on the time cell. Along with entering amounts manually, you can also track time interactively using the stopwatch timer. For example, if you want to track time interactively for counsel for client Nickerson, click the appropriate time cell and start the timer. A red cell indicates an active timer. It will continue running and accruing time until you stop the timer. Click Save to save the new time entry. You can optionally print a weekly timesheet showing the current entries. You can also set up timesheet options to determine how the timesheet displays. For example, you can hide references from the template list. You can change the start day of the week to Monday. And you can change the format of time to hours, minutes, seconds. When you click OK, your changes will be reflected on the timesheet. Close the timesheet when you are done entering time.